Welcome to the Tanya Hoffman's Fabulous TV Show. I am Tanya Hoffman. I am your host. And as always, I have an amazing guest star today. Today is no exception. Oh my gosh, you're going to have to strap on your your safety belt because we are on this amazing ride with Ms. Danielle Furman. Hey, Danielle. Hi, Tanya. How are you? Good, Good. to see you. So we're going to hear all about her and, oh my gosh, I can't wait. And, but before we get going, I want to remind you that we want you to go out there and change the world from the front of the room too. So please go and visit public speakers with an S association, all spelled out.com and take advantage of our half off summer summer sell. That's hard to say. So just put in our coupon code summer half off and you'll get half off of your membership. So you can go out there and start changing lives from the front of the room. Alrighty, so let's get over to Miss Danielle. So tell me, Danielle, what's fabulous going on in your life, and tell us all about you. Well, what's fabulous right now is I'm in the process of moving, so I'm really excited about that, and and then I'm just, I'm, I'm so excited to come to your event. I mean, to, that is like, way excited to get on stage and speak to your people it's going to be so much fun oh i know everyone is so excited about you being there and being one of the stage speakers um and you know it's really great and if y'all don't know what we're talking about she's coming to speak in vegas july 6th through the 8th at the public speakers conference um so you really are going to help us look at how are we dressed and how are we really kind of Tell you, saying more than what words, right? A lot of times it's the way we are dressed. Well, we have three seconds, three to seven seconds to make a first impression. So it's really important to make the impression that you want to make. And it's, it's exciting, you know. It's when, when you know that you're representing yourself in a really authentic way, it's so much better than 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 not doing that i mean when if you go on to um go on to the stage and you're wearing something that actually distracts people it's going to make them harder to listen to what you have to say even if what you say is amazing if what you're wearing is a distraction it, they're just not going to pay attention like they would if you're wearing something that you look fabulous in yeah i've seen you know complete disasters in um outfits and i've seen some that i'm like wow that is amazing um so is there like a tip that you could give people like that really is like the basics right well there's a couple of them one for sure is to make sure if you are a speaker and you're going on stage so some of you if you're listening to this before you get to vegas make sure that you find out what the background to the stage is so that you don't blend in. So if the, the wall, let's say, is black and you're wearing a black suit or something black, what you're gonna see is basically your head bobbling instead of like the whole body. So that's one tip. And also you wanna wear something that really um, creates connection, credibility, and um, authenticity which is wearing something that might be in your eye color so that would be a really you know that's one of the colors that i would say would work for most people but it depends on what your color is your coloring is and sometimes when you have like blue eyes there's so many different colors blues so you kind of really need to know what which is the right one for you yeah, when I see a lot of times people have the like huge earrings on and all you see is like their huge earrings um, or, oh, this lady had this beautiful hat, but it was just like, it was just kind of floppy and, and um, that's all I could think about was her hat the whole time, right? Sometimes you're just like so clued in on a specific object. And it's unfortunate because most of the people that are on stage usually have a really great message. But if there's these distractions, it could be that a woman is wearing a dress that has a print on it that's really wild and it's so busy and it doesn't relate to her at all that you just don't pay attention. 
Yeah, I've I've worn wrong things, believe me. <laughs> <laughs> I won this one and I and someone took a picture of me on stage, right? And she sent it to me. I'm like, I look like I'm, you know, 300 pounds. What was I thinking? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, <laughs> you know, and, when it, you're looking up at somebody, right? <laughs> and it's such a fallacy that every, you know, that to wear black is going to make you thinner. It's not necessarily true. Everybody has their own form of black. And so your, your black might be a brown and not a black, or it could be a navy or something, just depending on your coloring. So when people say, yeah, I wear black because it makes me look slim, it's like, it's not necessarily true. I think one of my biggest faux pas is that I buy something new and I don't try it out before I wear it on stage. <laughs> Yeah, that could be a problem. <laughs> and then I'm like, oh, so this is this is just not, you know, and then it's like, it's all crooked, you know, or it just doesn't fit right, or it's just like tight or whatever. There's something wrong. And you're like, all right, I should have tried this out before I got here. <laughs> yeah. And did you not try it on when you were at the store? You did, but there's difference between when you're um, been wearing it kind of all day versus putting it on for 30 seconds, right? <laughs> no, that's true. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, uh, and you know sometimes we try to um make ourselves look better and sometimes it ends up making us it worse like i bought some of those like Spanx, right and guys if you don't know what that is don't worry about it <laughs> <laughs> but my the bottom of my leg it kind of made my bottom of my leg kind of poof out <laughs> i was like oh, this looks awful <laughs> like they were like you guys <laughs> like it was so awful <laughs> Yeah, definitely try on your clothes before you come <laughs> and make sure. And the other thing is to make, you know, if you don't know what the background's going to be, bring, you know, a couple of different outfits so that you can choose so that when you're going on stage, you know that you won't blend into the background. Yeah, and I always try to pick things that um, people are like, wow, that is so beautiful, or that's so neat looking, or that's so, because it's something that they recognize and they'll remember you, right? A lot of times they right. associate what you wear with you. Yeah, I remember I met this woman once and she was, she has black hair and these stunning, beautiful green eyes. And she came walking in and she was wearing her eye color blouse with the black suit or something and oh my god i she was stunning you couldn't take your eyes off of her it was amazing wow yeah it just made her eyes pop do you find with you know because a lot of times too when you're looking at people from stage a lot of times it's their shoe factor you know they wear something that they should think about the shoes that they wear um, cause I've seen women that decided to wear platform, you know, triple digit high <laughs> and you're like, how is she walking? You know, it looks painful just seeing her up there or whatever. <laughs> well, I think it's important that you are wearing shoes that are comfortable, but you also have to have them relate to what you're wearing. Cause I've seen women get on stage also that are wearing flats which are fine but they're so casual compared to the dress that it looks funny i've seen I, really bad shoes like birkenstocks i'm like no not yeah. stained shoes <laughs> exactly and you know there's three things that they're like the shoes shirt and um skirt those are the things that people notice but shoes are really the first thing people notice that before they notice anything which is really interesting that, you know, people's eyes go down to the floor and look at your feet. And men, men notice it as well. They definitely check out the shoes. Yeah, I saw a guy one time and he had on blue jeans. And, you know, lots of people look really nice in blue jeans. So there's nothing wrong with that. But his was like the torn kind. And then he didn't have shoes on with this real nice jacket. And it was just so off. And it was so, all I kept thinking was his feet must be disgusting. And, and then he sat down on one of those little stools because he was talking and he put his foot up and you could see how dirty it was. And I just like, I was so grossed out. I had to walk out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I know a couple of people that go barefoot on stage and I get it's like their brand kind of thing, but it doesn't, doesn't make sense to me, but 
if yeah. that's what they do, that's what they do, and you can't. Yeah, obviously, I'm not their target market. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, I one of them I love dearly. I know them really well. The other one I don't really know very much, but it was just kind of a strange situation. Yeah, you know, and I get it, you know, especially in the spiritual world, they want to be grounded and they want to have, you know, their feet on the ground, but exactly. th there is some level of comfort you need to make for the, your audience as well. You know, it's like women who, yeah, they may not mind showing off for cleavage, but how are you making your, are you making your audience comfortable with that much cleavage, you know? Right, right. Just, um, sorry about the noise. Can you hear it? Yeah, a little bit. <laughs> of course, he's playing. Um, anyways, hey. <laughs> it's yeah. a doggy issue. It's we a doggy are. issue. Sorry about that. <laughs> I know. For whatever reason, when I'm on the show, like my dog like suddenly wants to snuggle up or my cats want to be on top of me. I'm like, come on, guys. <laughs> yeah. Later, yeah. you know. Well, I just really have enjoyed you being on. I know, though, that you have a special offer for our listeners. What is I that? I do. So um, if you are interested in knowing more about colors, I have written a little ebook that's called ColorTipsForSuccess.com. You just go there. It actually takes you to my website, and you can download the book for free. Color Tips with Tips an S? With an S for success. F-O-R. F-O-R. For success.com. And you're more than welcome to download the book. We'd love to have you have it. And if you have any questions, just reach out. Love it. All right, everyone. So immediately go to the website. Remember, color tips with an S for F-O-R success.com. Take advantage of that. Get connected to Danielle because obviously she's someone that you're going to need to know very long. And if you've got a conference or an event coming up, she's speaking at my conference. So, you know, that makes her pretty special and pretty amazing. So please connect with her and have her on your next event. So thank you, Danielle, for being thank on. Thank you. Everyone. This is awesome. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. See you next time. <laughs>